Okay, so I was going to get straight into the walkthrough, but then I remembered I forgot to do this little box in the last video. I was going to do it before I ended the video, but I forgot all about it, so we're going to do it now. This coin probably found its way into Japanese circulation sometime in the mid-19th century. Alright, time to get into the video. The reason you clicked on this video, the walkthrough. Now there are a lot of enemies up ahead, as you can see by the subtitles. Because subtitles always indicate when there are criminals, villains, scum. And Lara is in the business of killing them. So let's get into it. One headshot. And a two headshot. Take out that light if I can. Move up. Be very quiet, won't you, Lara? Ah, did not see him. And now he won't see me. Because he did. Alright. Really need to take out that light. If I can. Done. Boom. Light out. Which has made the criminals curious, it seems. I think I just missed that shot. Now I'm definitely sure I missed that shot. Time to switch to gun. Most likely what I'll do after I actually take out everyone is just skip to after I've looted all the bodies so that we can just get into the story. It has been a month since I've done the Lara Croft video. A Tomb Raider video. So we want to get more into the story. I'll try and get more of Tomb Raider parts out as well because it will be a fairly long game compared to Mortal Kombat X. So try and get more of Tomb Raider out instead of Mortal Kombat. But, of course, Mortal Kombat will be still something I do on a regular basis. I'll probably what, do what I did with Assassin's Creed and Batman, which is Tomb Raider gets two, Mortal Kombat gets one, that sort of thing. Alright, I think that was the last guy. And again, I'm not too sure. Ah, there we are. Shoot him, and let's Get on with it. Anyone else? Anyone? Absolutely anyone. Ah. There's the guy near the light. Good. Well, the light. Uh, I just shot out. Let's see if we can't get a headshot. I think there's someone throwing flame grenades at me. There he is. Uh, reload. And get him. And if I'm not careful, I might set fire to him. Alright, after I take out this last guy, if he's not out already. After I take this guy out, he's done. So I'm going to skip ahead to after I've looted everyone. And I will see you back here. Okay, so all the bodies are looted. World War II era. Are you Japanese? And Lara thinks this could be World War II era. Of course it's freezing, it's water. It probably hasn't had a warm body in it for ages. Oh look. For better or worse, I now follow Father Matthias. If I'm gonna be stuck on his island, at least I have the best possible job. He calls me his first Solari. Matthias might be insane, but he's smart and dangerous. He knows things about this island. I believe is our only chance of ever getting out of here. Matthias keeps us happy. We control the guns and the food. Anything the storm brings to this island is ours, and we decide the fate of any new survivors. Any who defy us are killed. We are masters of this fucked up prison. Alright, onwards 
and upwards. And it seems like straight away there's some manual labour to turn off some deadly gas. So if our lovely heroin, Lara Croft, does not choke to death on deadly gas. Bow and arrow out. Enemies ahead. Now, with one fell swoop, I will kill both of them. Bang. Great. Now, I think there's someone coming around the corner. Now. I've played this game so many times, it's become second nature. Not all of these games that I have played many, many times. Some of these games that I'll be doing walkthroughs on, I'll only have played either a couple of times, or it'll be the first time I actually play it. Depending. Right. Now there should be... Bear with me here. But... I want to burn that poster back there, and aha! So I knew it was around here somewhere. Plus, I will be walking around trying to find little extras, like salvage, any of those books, with the guy saying about the Sun Queen and stuff. Right. There should be a guy up ahead. There he is. Always be aware of your surroundings. That is what I have learned from many, 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 many games. Alrighty then. Through the hatch! And a cutscene. So I must. Shush. Oh. I guess the cutscene is until a few minutes later. Here we go. wasn't very much talking in that, so I probably didn't have to, but I wanted to be quiet. Alright, now to light the gas. That was a semi-terrible shot. Now we get the assault rifle. Doesn't look like much now, but wait until I upgrade it. Now, Lara, shoot him. Please. Put him out of his misery. Go to hell. He probably will be going to hell now. Expedition field report. Despite loss of two cargo ships to intense storms, the expedition has made landfall. We've established a communication center high in the mountains, and coastal base construction has commenced. Initial surveys have revealed several possible excavation sites. The island is much larger than we originally anticipated, and layered with many centuries of history. The task of identifying the source of the storms will be long and arduous. But if we succeed in our mission here, our victory in this war will be certain. It's amazing how many of those documents you can find when you really look. Through the door! Into blinding light and slow motion. That's right! Now I have the machine gun. And you'd think, due to the fact that she's easily able to shoot them, they would just run. But no, they're too stupid. That's right, just keep coming. In the face. See, that's how you know that she's a survivor now. She literally uses anything she can find to whack people in the face. Although while they're still using bow and arrows, if someone actually had a machine gun, I will never know. I 
people are there? Is that the last one? Take that light! I know the light hasn't done anything to me specifically, but I just felt like doing that. It's amazing how much I have to do of looting in this game. But hey ho, that's Tomb Raider for you. Well, that's Tomb Raider these days. You didn't really have the element of surprise there, pal. I think there might be a cutscene coming soon. If there is, then I will stop talking. a wreck. Damn it. Well, unless you see a radio shack around, you're gonna have to patch it manually through the maintenance panel. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Yeah, well, uh, you're gonna have to find it first. On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. I mean, way high up. Climbing again. Great. You shouldn't complain about the climbing, Lara. It could be much worse. Now, let's see if there's any other documents or collectibles around. There's one, so I will hush hush. I am alone now. The rest of them are dead. This is for the best. I watched from the cliffs as their makeshift boat was tossed and turned by the storms. The clouds look like a hand upon the water, desperately clawing at their doomed boat. None survived the wrath of the storm. I observed it carefully. The storm was localized and sudden. And just as suddenly, it was gone. And this is the most interesting detail. It didn't seem random. I sensed emotion, something deliberate. I don't know what's happening on this island, not yet, but if I ever hope to escape, I must understand this phenomenon. Now my real work begins. Alright, on with the climbing that Laura was initially complaining about. But first, we need to climb through these vents basically. Now, of course, what Lara has to do is be very careful because of that. The steam. Because, of course, these vents, these tubes, are carrying steam. And she needs to be very, 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 very careful. Otherwise, she could get bad burnt. Now I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure the last time we were out in the open area. This isn't normal. Thank you, Lara, for basically saying what I was gonna say. Is that it shouldn't be snowing. Alright. Uh, yep, that'll do. Don't really matter too much. Should be absolutely safe at the moment. I regret saying that. No. Perfect. I will admit that usually that took me like a thousand tries when I actually did this the first time round. Right, we're not going to need to throw an arrow because they already spotted me, so we will use the good old-fashioned handgun. 
and just shoot people. Gonna try and get in as many one shot kills shots basically that I can like headshots which now that I think about it are the only one shot kills Alright, uh, headshot. Doing very good with taking them out very quickly and we can now upgrade our weapon. I have no idea which weapon we get to upgrade, but when we get to the next campsite, I will check. That wall is not going to protect you. Neither will Spurge. Rock to the front. That is probably the worst time that I've had to try and reload. And rock to the face. Which eventually will be upgraded to the point where she'll start using the pickaxe, not the rock. Alright. Boom. One shot takes out everyone. You can't stop her, you fools. She is unstoppable. She is determined. She is the Tomb Raider. Although at the moment, in this particular game, she is not technically Tomb Raider. She's not the Tomb Raider until maybe after Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is the third installment to the series, which I will be doing a video on at some point in the very And he had no advantage whatsoever with sneaking up run. These people just really are crap bad guys. Point in case. He tried to slide down knowing full well that I had a, a bullet ready and waiting to shoot him off the zip line. Idiot. Some of these people throwing models. Or at least they were before they got me. Probably should just move forward. There we go. Much better. I have no idea how many enemies there really are. And now I have more of an idea of how many there were. Out of the way! She's left! Oh. That is one big angry dude. Come get me! Take a shot. It was only after the second time that I dodged that I remembered to shoot them. But doing this with a handgun isn't so good. with absolutely F all. Because as far as I know, yes, I'm absolutely sure that I'm not even upgrading the bow that much at the moment because I want to upgrade the handgun and the machine gun so that when I get the silencers, I don't need the bow and arrow anymore. It's not that I don't like the bow and arrow, it's just that I prefer the silenced weapons. Right, now we should very soon, never mind. Some kind of soldier's identity tags. I don't recognize the kanji. Were these used in World War II? I was going to say 
that now is probably the time when we actually start the climbing that Lara was so hesitant to do. Or basically what she moaned about. Obviously after I do a couple of things. Because as I have mentioned, I will be collecting salvage, documents, and other collectibles as I do in many other stuff. And for some reason, she still has the torch in her freaking hand. Oh good, there's a camp. Now, we can check what gun I can upgrade. Of course, I'll be focusing on the pistol. Which they all seem to be able to upgrade. I think I'm going to go for looking at the machine gun. Pretty much anything can be upgraded. I reckon that we're going to go for this. High caliber rounds, I think that said. Or high caliber mags, whatever. Right. Now to the climbing that Lara actually said that she was dreading. Although she didn't say it, she just said, oh great, more climbing. If you've been paying attention to this video, then, you know, you know that. Up and up we go, Lara. And for the love of all that is holy, do not fall. Because if you fall, then it's game over. Then I have to start all over again. What did I just say? Be careful. That is very high up. Definitely high up. She must be absolutely freaking crazy. Then again, they do have to get off of this island and send an SOS, so, you know. It's not really being crazy, it's more of being wanting to get off the island. There's no point in hugging the pole, it's not going to help. Just keep climbing, don't look down. That's pretty much good advice for anyone who's planning on climbing something really high. Is just don't look down. I will say though that Lara Croft and Nathan Drake share a lot of similarities in the fact that they keep breaking everything and are lucky not to fall off. And this looks like a cutscene, so I'm going to be quiet for now. should boost the signal from the transmitter. Okay. Alright, find the emergency channel and get a clear signal on your radio before you broadcast the SOS. Hey, we got everything crossed for you down here, LC. Thank you. Now some tuning involved so that Lara can send her SOS. Sounds like we got the right frequency. Hold it there. Hold it there. Crap. Hold it. Uh, hold it. Hold it. And broadcast. Mayday! Mayday! This is Lara Croft of the Endurance. We are stranded on an island in the Dragon's Triangle. We need help and medical supplies. Please respond. Come on. Come on. Mayday, Mayday, this is Lara Croft of the Endurance. This is aircraft Nautilus 177 Alpha. Searching for you since the distress call from your vessel. Almost giving up hope. So had we. We've got your approximate position, but we could sure use a visual. I'll figure something out. We'll be heading your way soon. Now. <laughs> Lara Croft, you are my hero! Woo! 
<laughs> hey, you know, Reyes actually just cracked a smile. Right. Need a signal. A fire. Fuel. Flames. I can do that. All right, so we're going to make a big signal, big flames, lots of fire so that the plane can see us next time. Because I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I have been Gamer Manus. I'll see y'all in the next video of mine. And as always, this is Game Over.